Thanks, Brian. <laughs> I'm from Pirates of Panzan, and I play Bruce. Red Ruby. Pirate King. Nice. And they are pirates. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Special yeah. guest appearance yeah. pirates. Let's see. Now for the pirate's lair, at last I may atone in some slight measure for the acts of theft and pillage of which I, as an apprentice pirate, was guilty. Young Frederick. My former master? Don't you know I've sworn to exterminate you? Have mercy on us. Hear us out before you slaughter us. Well, <laughs> perhaps just this once. <laughs> Frederick, am I correct in saying that by some odd coincidence you were born in leap year? On the 29th of February? Yes, so? So, though you've lived 21 years, <laughs> yet if we go by birthdays, you are only five. <laughs> oh, my word. This is most curious, most absurdly whimsical. No one would think it to look at me. <laughs> you are glad now. I'll be bound that you spared us. What? You would never have forgiven yourself once you discovered that you have killed two of your comrades. My comrades? I'm afraid you don't appreciate the delicacy of your position. You were apprenticed to us. Until I reached my 21st year. No, until you reached your 21st. Yip, Brad. Oh, birthday! You're <laughs> birthday. And going by birthdays, you were as yet only five and a quarter. You don't mean to tell me you're going to hold me to that. No, we merely remind you of the fact and leave the rest to your sense of duty. Don't put it on that footing. Please, I beg you. Do not insist on the letter of that contract. We insist on nothing. We content ourselves with pointing out to you your duty. Your duty. Well, you have appealed to my sense of duty, and my duty is only too clear. I abhor your infamous profession. I shudder at the thought that I've ever been mixed up with it. But duty is before all. At any price, I will do my duty. Bravely spoken. Come, you are one of us once more. Lead on, I follow. Oh, horror! What is the matter? Ought I to tell you? No, no, I cannot do it. But because I am once again a member of your band, I am compelled <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> yes? General Stanley? The father of my Mabel? Is it true that he escaped from you by claiming he was an orphan? Yes, he did. It breaks my heart to betray the honored father of the girl I adore. But I must tell you, General Stanley is no orphan. No! Other than that, he never was one. Well, am I to understand that to save his contemptible life, he dared to practice upon 